Hello, party people! I might be the last person on YouTube to do a Dollar Tree spring shop with me, but I figured I would show you around my Dollar Tree. Fingers crossed that they have their spring stuff out, because last time I went in, they didn't. Pretty sure this shirt didn't make it out of the wash before mildew set in, because I smell something funky. Anyway, let's go inside. Uh, let's find some gems. Let's go, Dollar Tree! Looks like spring is in full fling, spring fling, here at the DT. Let's explore. I'm gonna look around and show you the really awesome things first. Oh man, I still see boxes. Every single time I come in. Ooh, St. Patty's Day stuff. Okay, first up, honorable mention, these summer noodles, they go really fast. Oh, and now they have little boogie boards. Hey, the quality isn't there, but the noodle's definitely good. So my eye straight away goes to these party plates. They have a couple different print options and the napkins as well, of course. They always do a really good job when it comes to seasonal decor. There's 18 plates in there for a dollar. That's crazy. At Target, it's way more expensive than that. Okay, these eggs, um, mm, I forgot her channel name. I'll post it up here. I think it's Nicole Burgess. She is the DT queen but she says these eggs, she uses them to put um, like bathing suits or something in. I think that's just a great idea. And then they have larger ones that are sports. Oh wait, these are large ones too. Two size options. Why would you get the smaller one? I don't know. Oh look, bunny ears too. No, what's cuter than bunny ears? Peep ears, what's cuter than peep ears? A little bunny tail. Holy crap, this is so stinking cute. It comes with a clip. Oh, I love, love, love that. Oh my gosh. And then over here they have little novelty glasses. I guess they had a blue pair over there and then a pink pair. And these are always great to have to dye eggs with. Oh, and then they have a little deviled egg platter. That's like a Kim size serving. We're gonna need a little more than that. Oh, they also have these. A color pop Easter egg decorating kit. Oh, and then they have a princess kind, superhero, pirates, love that. And then they also, of course, have some more Easter table tree. Table tree? Nope, that's not the word. Moving on. Oh, these cute little cups, they're plastic, but they're like mason jar kind of, but not. Do you know what I mean? Like a, a mason jar knockoff. Oh, and these, these are great for gifts for all ages to wrap in your Easter basket. I love that idea, so nothing falls out. Okay, I took my mic off. It's giving me a lot of trouble, but I feel like you'll still be able to hear me. They have this really cute glittery Easter grass. That looks really fun. And then some more bunnies. I, don't, I do not want a stuffed animal on Easter. I don't even want a stuffed animal on Christmas. Never, please don't ever give me a stuffed animal. Oh, look at these little carrots. I haven't seen these before. A set of three, so instead of Easter eggs, you can hide candy and carrots. And then these are like decorative Easter eggs. That's really fun. I haven't seen those before. The sun is right behind this wall, so I apologize for the lighting, but do you see the amazingness that is happening with these Easter eggs? Look how stinking cute they are. Little animals right there. And then they have multicolored Easter grass. That's a lot of it for just a dollar. I'll scan over these. Oh my gosh, bunny Easter eggs. I love that. And then the traditional egg. I like these. These are shiny. There's big ones and then they're smaller, but you get more of them. Oh, and glitter ones. Holy crap. Stepping their game up. What am I going to do about it? I see a couple Easter baskets down there. They can do better. Oh wait, these are cuter over here. They're a little smaller, but they're cute. And they come in a lot of different colors there. These eggs over here are kind of the plain Jane eggs. Oh, look, a golden egg. Do you guys have the tradition of a golden egg? We hide money in ours. It's like $100. Just kidding, it's like five. <laughs> I mean, Alex's grandparents, they hide a bunch. These are like tribal eggs. Um, no, Alex's grandparents, they hide a money egg for like each child that's out there. That's how many money eggs? Uh, yeah, not my family. <laughs> anyway, there's more in here. Holy crud, how many eggs are in this pack? Lord, 18 pieces. That is a deal. And then over here are all the little Easter basket fillers. I have just come to terms with this, knowing that most of this stuff will not last. That's why it's a dollar. These pencils too, I gotta tell you, they are cute, but they are 
difficult to sharpen and I sharpened a bunch over the weekend. I had cheap ones and then I had the really expensive brand. I forgot what they're called, but people go crazy about them. Anyway, I legit got a blister on my hands. It was ridiculous. Our mechanical sharpener, uh, it broke. <laughs> so anyway, why am I talking about that? I don't know. Here are some really cute Easter baskets down here. Looks like little carrots and rubber duckies, but these are the Easter baskets I was referring to. They're right there, little monsters. Mm, those are cute too, those prints. The little chicky. And then these felt baskets, they're really cute. On the smaller side, of course. Oh, they have round ones. Oh my gosh, they have the hookup when it comes to Easter baskets. Okay, there's a bunch, definitely so many to choose from. All shapes, all sizes, all. Oh my gosh, look at that bunny. He's cute, he might be my favorite. Um, I think I scanned over these. Those are cute. They have some bunny erasers. Oh wait, these are crayons. Oh, look how stinking cute those are. And then these are erasers, <laughs> equally as adorable. Notepads, a couple different options for you. I think notepads are always a cute little gift. Some stamps to keep the kiddos busy. I like those marker stamps, those look fun. Something a little different. Oh, Easter sticker scene. Those seem exciting make a little Easter scene. I'm surprised to not see anything religious in like an Easter scene. No? I don't know. Just me? <laughs> Do I have weird expectations when it comes to uh, Easter? I don't think so. Anyway, those little paddle boards, I refuse to buy that. That's just danger waiting to happen. Oh my gosh. Wentworth got one of these as a gift from someone and he just think it's, thinks it's the funniest little thing. We bought these for our kids for Valentine's Day and they actually really enjoyed them. The balloon is only like this big. I don't know what I was expecting, but um, I was expecting something a little bigger. So just in case you were wondering as well. Uh, oh, a little tic-tac-toe game. That looks fun for a dollar. I like how they have different game options. Pinball, yes. Old school games. Oh, they have different prints for the pinball as well. And then what is that? A disc flyer? Flying disc? Okay. <laughs> I doubt my kids would be able to figure that out yet. They still can't even master yo-yo, okay? Well, I still can't even master yo-yo, so it's not saying much. These bubbles, always a great deal. I snagged one, and then glitter putty. Little Eleanor would love this, but my husband has banned putty and slime from our house with good reason. That crap gets everywhere, right? Oh, I love this. I'm surprised they don't have a little chick. Oh, this is a bunny. And I assume it just hops around. I don't know, that's really cute. Oh, and these art kits are always a steal for a dollar. Keep the kids busy for 10 minutes, you know what I mean? They have different little clay figurines to paint, which is great. Oh, and then these as well. Cheap, cheap, and it is cheap, inexpensive. Well, probably cheap as well, huh? The Dollar Tree, who am I kidding? Pretty fancy there, look at that, with the bunny. How many different pages do you get, just two? Okay. Two pages and a whole paint set there. Oh, I see unicorns as well, awesome. The moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, so I haven't seen a lot of these because I actually haven't watched a lot of Dollar Tree Shop With Me's yet this spring, um, but these Easter eggs, oh, this would be so fun if you had, well, I don't know what you would use them for. I'm sure you guys can figure it out because you're way more creative than I am. This little Easter bunny. Just a head, that's kind of creepy, but also kind of awesome. Also these placemats, that kind of looks like a dog on the end, that bunny one, okay. This is weird, I haven't seen this before. What, what is inside? Guys, that's bizarre. It's like a quarter cup of pillow fluff, that's really weird. Anyway, if you're into that, that's awesome. Um, I'm not. <laughs> okay, this bunny wreath, oh man, that is cute. Comes in two colors that I see, blue and pink. I might snag one of those for my front door. And then that bunny face. I actually really like this chick as well. Ooh, that is so cool. Can you imagine like how long it took someone to make that? Oh, I like this bunny. I like him better. Look, he's got a bow tie on. He's ready for the party. See, he's got a bow tie on too. It says, welcome. I really like that sign. You guys can take a peek at the others. Oh my gosh, even the chick has a bow tie on and you can move his wings. <laughs> Wonder if they'll move in the wind. Here are the wooden signs that I'm excited to explore. Oh, I see one that's catching my eye. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Okay, well from afar, before I read it, I was like, ooh, that's cute. <laughs> I like the uh, doorbell alarm as well, like that. 
And then the Happy Easter. This one's cute. I feel like last year I got one um, with a bunch of eggs that said welcome and that was a hit. I still have it. I actually just hung it up. Otherwise I wouldn't have remembered that I got it. Welcome to our patch. That's adorable. And then those window clings. Always a hit for the kiddos. Oh, I like the little garden stake as well. That flower. Very cute. And then did we scan over these little Easter baskets? I don't know. I will now, just in case. And what's this? Some more yard stakes. They've got a chick, a bunny, and an egg. I feel like last year they had a really cute sign that would say like, oh look, somebody loves you. No, they had a really cute sign that said something like Easter egg hunt this way or something. You know what I mean? I guess I'll keep my eye out for those. These purple flowers are really catching my eyeballs. Looks like something's happening over here. I might check out my other Dollar Tree just to make sure we're getting everything that they have. Wouldn't want to jip you guys out. Here's the little DIY section that they always offer. And oh my gosh, can you believe it? These eggs are everywhere, like everywhere for way more expensive than a dollar. And you get six, like legit. I don't even know what I would do with these, but I feel like I need to buy them just because they're everywhere and I have FOMO and they're so stinking cute. I'm going to buy one. Should I buy two? Okay. Short intermission. I just got like tattletailed on by another customer to an employee and the employee came up to me and said, hey, someone said you were filming. I don't see the problem. Anyway, she was really nice. And after talking to her, she was like, just don't be so obvious. What? So let me rant about this for a second. I don't see the problem in filming in the store. What if I had a family member or a friend who was incapable of coming to the store to browse around? Um, hi, I'm gonna send her some video clips. Also, I'm not filming the people, I'm filming the shelves. Third point, I'm filming the store, which is most likely going to bring other people to the store to make it more money. I don't see a problem. I don't, not a single one. Is me talking loudly bothering you? Because in other words, like I could have been on the phone talking. I just don't understand why the customer complained. And I'm normally pretty considerate. Like if there's someone else in the aisle and they're browsing around the same section, like I'll stop filming and I'll step away for a minute so they can shop and then I'll come back when they're finished. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I, what do you think? What do you think happened? <laughs> I put on some more concealer. I feel like a new woman. So let's check out this awesome Dollar Tree. The lighting is better in here anyway. <laughs> Always look at the positive. So eyes are drawn to this Easter greetings. That sign is really cute. And this is similar to what I have. That welcome with all of the, uh, the wooden animals. Oh wait, that's what I have. Well, that's similar too. More similar. Oh, they also have this bag. Remember? It's like a weird poof. I just don't get it. I guess that's why I'll, there's a lot of those left. No one really gets it. Scan over. Maybe you can peek to see if they have something that the other store didn't have. I didn't see those at the other store. Maybe we did. I don't know. I've already forgotten. My short-term memory is pretty much non-existent. Ooh, a jump rope. We definitely didn't see that. These bubbles. So in the shape of eggs, carrots, and rubber ducky, or just a duck, I guess. Right, another overview here. Oh, these bunny, these are great. These remind me of cookie cakes. I feel like it's not an Easter cookie cake unless it's got a bunny with sunglasses, a plastic bunny with sunglasses. Man, that's awesome. All right, here's some more stuff. Oh, and you know what? I just spotted those buckets. They weren't at the other Dollar Tree and I actually really like them. They're simple, the colors are nice. And this basket up here, it's white. Think spring, they also have their gardening stuff. Well, <laughs> looks like they had a lot more. These tins always go really quickly. And then they have a bunch of pots and seeds and soil. <clears throat> I like these garden stones too. These are really pretty if you're decorating your garden. They're a dollar, which is kind of amazing. Oh, sunshine, laughter, and friends are always welcome, yes. You can kind of see the differences between the two Dollar Trees. Um, it looks like this arts and crafts section is pretty wiped out, but I'll still go through it with you. They have all of that ribbon, which is really pretty, and it's glittery. I don't know where any of this stuff goes. Oh my goodness, and these bead kits. Color me obsessed when I was a young girl. I used to love doing these. They have foam shapes, 
And they did have um, little kits. What kind of, oh, a candle. Oh my gosh. They have all of these colors. That's what I could find. I'm sure there's a pink. I feel like that would be a good Easter color. Oh, and then they had a couple of these arts and crafts kits to make a bunny. And then they had pom-pom bunnies, or maybe we saw those, I can't remember. Ooh, foam eggs for your Easter tree. Love that. Oh, and then little pipe cleaners. It's always a steal on their pipe cleaners. Okay, they have a ton of Easter basket stuffers. And then these cute little hats. We'll go over the Easter basket stuffers in just a second. I am obsessed with these little Easter hats. Ooh, summer things. Holy crud. Can you believe it's almost summer? It's still snowing for some of you, I'm pretty sure. You want me to go over the Easter candy? Ooh, you guys know I love Easter and candy. Okay, these are the four kinds that I saw. That one's really cute. These are great if you're putting together. That's the last one. And there's 25 in there. Those would be great if you're putting together like a bunch of little treats for nieces and nephews or maybe classroom gifts or something. Easter eggs, oh my, a whole bag of them for a dollar. Easter lollipops, or colossal sours. Warheads are my jam. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Fluffy stuff, cottontails. My kids would go crazy over that. I love the marketing. Cottontail, yes. I don't know what that is. A ring, a jelly ring. My kids would love it nonetheless. Oh, and then they have these little gummy filled. What are they, gumballs? The packaging is cute, you know? Oh my word, these little lollipops, oh adorable. Ooh, they have Russell Stouffer up there, mini. Oh, I might grab some. It's pretty hefty for a dollar. So they have Easter candy, like the little sweet tarts, but for Easter. Lollipops up there. Ooh, powder candy, you know what we used to call that? Angel dust. <laughs> Like, I would never let my kids eat that these days. Look at the, how big that Easter chocolate bunny is for a dollar. That's great. I mean, obviously the quality of dollar chocolate isn't fantastic, but kids don't care. I'll tell you that firsthand. Anyway, back to the angel dust. Uh, it was the gateway drug, sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding, oh my gosh. Yummy gummies? Oh my. I can't believe they have Hatchimal stuff here. They have Disney stuff always. But it's still awesome. Uh, so yeah, oh, the first cross I've seen. Okay, love that. Whitman's, oh, that's a good chocolate bar for a dollar, yes. Should I grab some? This says Hoppy Easter. Oh, there's just so many. Oh my gosh, they actually have a lot of um, Easter chocolate bunnies. Oh, that fell. Tell me if you've ever had the angel dust. Oh wait, was angel dust Kool-Aid mixed with sugar? I don't know guys, I ate so much sugar as a kid. Maybe that's where all my energy comes from. Just <laughs> all of that. Anyway, these fluffies, they're like hard marshmallows. Like, um, what are those little peanuts? You know what I mean? I mean, if you like that kind of thing. These are pretty awesome too for gift baskets. Oh look, they even have Starburst. Oh, and then a, bought a bin of cotton candy. Ooh, the whole aisle of St. Patty's Day things. I don't celebrate this holiday, but oh my gosh, little tulle skirts. That is actually fantastic. I love that they dedicate a whole aisle to this actually. Oh my word, do you guys see this? Pot accessory and they have an owl. Oh my gosh, and a frog. Oh, they are adorable. I love those. <gasps> little down here butterflies. And what are these? Oh, little leaves and flowers. Oh, it's multicolor. Oh, here they are. Wow, I love dragonflies. That's fantastic. And they have fairy house accessories too. Only for a dollar. These are fantastic. If you saw my if you saw my Big Lots shop with me. Oh, a, oh my goodness. A fairy house. Do you guys have a fairy garden? I really want a fairy garden. All that stuff looks so cute. And some more garden accessories. Some wind chimes and stuff. Those are darling. I've abandoned my cart by, at this point. But they have, uh, what are those things called? Wind Windmills? Wind, wind something. Wind fan? I don't know. Look at that though. Left over from Mardi Gras. <laughs> There's my cart. Okay, we left off at the basket stuffers. I don't know why I left. I see this whoopee cushion. Oh, who wouldn't love that? For a dollar too, some Rubik's cubes. Oh gosh, some glitter slime and putty. Tell name one parent who actually enjoys the putty and slime business. Okay, that's like a garage toy. Like, hey mom, can I play with this? Yeah, go in the garage. <laughs> 
or outside, go outside. Baskets, ooh, I love that little Nerf thing. Um, stuffed animals, no thank you. A jump rope, awesome. Army men, great. Darts, this is pretty amazing for a dollar, but they're not very sharp, so gotta throw them pretty hard to be able to see some more. Baskets, uh, I don't know, it looks like Legos to me. Building play sets, ooh. A slinky, everyone's favorite friend. Basket, what are these? Oh, these spiral art. That's pretty fantastic. Some My Little Ponies. Poo, oh gosh. Oh, Poodoo, that's cool. Yeah, that's great. My kids don't talk about poop enough. Let me get that for them. Oh wow, some more glitter slime. Oh wow, that's great. Oh, more fluff. Oh, this is great. All right, here's a gem. I haven't seen this anywhere else. What would you do with it though? Look how fun that is for a dollar. And then they have these wands. Yes, these are great for um, keeping your kids busy at Disney. I know firsthand. Now look at these really sweet Easter bags. Oh yes. Happy Easter, yes. And while we're here, since I haven't gotten kicked out yet, <laughs> I am gonna check out the candles with you. This smells like fall. I think maybe they just got it in. Oh, yep, leaves falling autumn. Falling, I don't know, that's a weird name for a candle. But look at this gem I found. This looks like summer, and just the jar itself looks really cute. Hold on, I see some more. This jar is really pretty as well. Energizing and uplifting, let's see. It's okay. And then they, these are really cute as well. I didn't smell those either. I mean, typically Dollar Tree candles don't smell that fantastic and, or not very strong. I don't know, that's just me. I'm not a huge candle fan, so um, don't take my advice. It's a dollar, what do you expect, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm over by the gardening stuff. I'm thinking about making my own wreath and then also thinking about the disaster that I've had multiple times in the past. And I see these, little fake cacti, cactuses, whatever. A what? That's so cool. For a dollar and they have succulents. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Wow, these are huge too. They're fantastic for a dollar. At Target, this would be five or maybe three. I don't remember. I see you hula hoops for a dollar at Target. They're like legit 20. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Grab them while you can because they go quickly. And then all these glasses, if that's your thing. Even more garden accessories like garden stakes. Those are so amazing. They're pretty, look at that. And then of course Target always has their toys, like go down their toy aisle and find, wow, can I speak? Go down their toy aisle and find some? Like Vampirina puzzle for a dollar, Hatchimals. Oh, and someone made a choice over here with the Easter eggs. Um, yeah, these are always, like, they always are stocked on craft supplies and stuff. Oh my gosh, and then the books. I almost forgot about them. They have coloring books. They have normal books. They're fantastic. And they actually have, like, uh, Christian books over here, like Bible books. It's wonderful. For a dollar, word hunt, word finds, a little Christmas book if you're missing out. <laughs> if you're feeling Christmas in March. Can you guys even believe it's March already? Look at these furry flip-flops. Are you kidding me? What? I don't know their sizes, but oh, what if someone put them on their feet and I'm like touching it with my hand. I see seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, five, six. Five, six is the smallest size. I did some digging. Um, I wish they offered an even smaller size, like a kid size, because I know my kids would just love those. I always see these randomly. Yes to, yes to, the yes to brand. And this time they have yes to tomatoes for clear skin, a powder to clay mask for a single dollar. This is insane. And then they also normally carry a variety of other masks as well. I see a charcoal mask up there, a cucumber. Oh, like I don't need a mask, but I wanna get it. Anyway, if you have older kids, you like these are great options for them as well. You know, well, wait, a nail polish set, like two for a dollar. What? Like if you need clear, that's a bargain in itself. They only have the blue. Oh, another duo. I like that purple. It's almost exactly what I have on right now. <laughs> okay, this all looks new to me. Does that say Hotel Transylvania? Oh, those are bags. What is that? Those are head wraps. Is that hollow? Hollow! What, what? Stand tall and stand out. Okay, this is amazing. A little ring holder. These journaling notes. 
<gasps> a flamingo journal. Take notes. Holy, make it happen. Yes, to do list. Believe in yourself with that little stinking unicorn and look at these little candle holders or really whatever you want. You put paper clips in them. I don't know. No limitations. Hand sanitizer, pack of three, a lip gloss in the shape of a gem. Oh, hand sanitizer. That would be a good Easter stuffer. All of this stuff. Trinket pots. Oh, okay. That's what I called a candle holder. Oh, they have these boxes, but this one says life's a beach, enjoy the waves. And then they have those other kinds as well. Holy crap, do you see that? This might be the single greatest thing I've seen all year. It reminds me of Pee Wee Herman, kind of. I don't know why. Cosmetic bag, and that feels really quality. I have some notebooks there. Oh my word, a little pineapple pom-pom keychain. Oh my gosh, I do need a desk lamp. That's actually pretty perfect. <laughs> A little desk fan as well, just a dollar. They have different colors, purple, pink, blue, pom-pom, ice cream cone. Oh, my kids would adore that. A backpack ID. Am I the only one freaking out about this stuff? Like, this is a luggage tag, guys. I don't know about you, but my kids go gag out over stickers, any kind of sticker. Oh, and they have construction stickers. Wentworth would adore these. Oh, there's two different kinds. Construction and then automobiles. Any more? No. Wow. I'm impressed. And look at these robots. They always have these really cute, I guess you can see the one that I was looking at. The one with cactuses on it. That's the one that caught my eye. But they have all different kinds. This one says Hello World. It's a two-sider, but you can put it on a canvas like so. They're just so pretty. There's butterflies. Oh my gosh, horses. It always blows my mind that the Dollar Tree sells food, so there's that. And they have little pillows to go outside. These are outdoor cushions or pillows. I mean, you can use them either way. I thought that was pretty amazing. One more little set of treat bags that I found. Those are actually really fun. And then the expensive candy, Mike and Ike, Skittles, Starburst. Warheads, Jelly Bellies, Dum Dums, oh you name it, they're busting out all the chops. Well Dollar Tree, it's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. I wonder if Do It On A Dime ever gets kicked out of Dollar Tree. <laughs> I wasn't kicked out. I wasn't kicked out. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me. If you did, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! Let me know what you guys put in your kids' Easter baskets. Just saying.